You were so pleased you survived the garden district. Well, there it goes. I can't believe I went through all of that just to cross a bridge and go see Sally. Well, Arthur, maybe you shouldn't have been such an ass. Maybe you should have said, oh, yes, Sally, do talk to your friend the general for me. What a kind thing to offer. I just got to punish me for all my mistakes and let everyone else run. Free. Lovely day for it. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street. All right. I don't well, think it's terribly it popular. Uh, I better be discreet about posting these. Couldn't be better, thanks. Wait, I forgot to tell you. The Lovely weather. Night. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. See you at the pub. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Read anything worth talking about lately? Nothing but blue skies. I'm going to say what's done is done. Nothing. What happened to him? Well, I'm not quite sure. He's been a solid citizen long as I've been on this beat. Then today he's gone on about leaving Hamlin, waving around a suitcase like a rotten downer. Well, we can't have that. Don't know where he thought he was going. Nobody goes to the garden district, don't have to. Maybe he had relatives across the bridge. <laughs> That's right. There's been an outbreak of relatives across the bridge. Has there been an outbreak of downers? Um, no. Of course not. There's nothing to worry about. Well, that's a relief. I'm sure the joy is just as good as it's ever been. Each batch just gets better and better. <laughs> you keep taking it. It'll take care of you. can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, right as rain. All right. Lovely day for it.
I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. Oh, I'm here to see what's wrong. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links then? <laughs> Pull the other one. No, 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 no. Come back in a few days and the council workers will have this all sorted. I need to be dressed like a worker in there. If I'm not wearing a boiler suit, people are liable to be cross with me. Would you like this? I just want you to know that I appreciate what you do. Well, this is an unexpected surprise. We are not accustomed to such generosity on the part of the populace. We're life for noise, pop a joy. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Simon says. Now, Simon says, step on three lit platforms. <laughs> says step on all the lift platforms <laughs> fabulous simon says step forward through the gate 
and be sure to enjoy your day. Not the bridge to the parade. There's just one more bridge, and then I'm in the parade. And one more bridge after that, and I'm finally out of Wellington, Wales. Make a fuss. I'm going to make you feel quite a bit better. I'll try not to fuck this up. You need a letter of transit and an old friend. Sally. Sally? So? Sally who? Arthur! Um, oh. I'm to have a go at me again. I used to think about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But, um, being a complete arse was sort of improvising there. Look, this is not a spectacular time. You said you know General Bing. Yeah, he's a client. A pharmaceutical client. I haven't had sex with anyone in ten years, and if I did, it wouldn't be with that man. Good. Did you really come here for a letter of transit? Or did you just need an um, excuse? Well, I, uh, sort of do need the letter of transit. Oh, Arthur. If you're really going to do something spectacularly stupid, these might come in handy. Uh, thanks. They make your pupils look teeny tiny, just like Joy does, but they have utterly no effect. About the letter. Could you do something for me? Uh, of course. What? I need a bottle of cod liver oil. I really like one. Cod liver oil? Why on earth would you want cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. I wish I could remember her. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Why? Why would you want to remember your mum? If it's too much to ask. Well, I was kind of hoping for, absolutely, I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Oh, I'm being an arse again, aren't I? I'll get it for you. The letter. I'm not crazy. But I am always a little extra complicated. complicated. He used to understand. I'll, I'll get it for you. I mean, I'll try. You are always the best of the lot. I've missed you so. I really should go. You, you don't have to. I really, really have to. Arthur. Thanks. I'll just... go. Oh, I meant to say. Cod liver oil. Dr. Verloc has some at the labs on us glass. He keeps a whole private stash of rare ingredients. I'm sort of persona non grata there. I see I'm the competition. Look, be careful. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. I don't think the train comes here anymore. The train? Oh, uh, because of the, um... Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> it's the butcher's boy, Edmund. He's never been late before. That's not Edmund McMillan, is he? I, I hope nothing's happened to him. I, I mean, meat's like gold these days. And he's 
bit dim. So it meant McGuckus' parents are looking after him anymore. Maybe I should see what's become of it. I wonder if he's missed it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. See you at the pub. Lovely weather. Wait, I forgot to tell you the punch. Lovely day for it. I'm so looking forward to the battle. I don't think I've been in Hayworth Labs since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight <laughs> hiccup in the disposition of the lab, and it is currently in isolation. No one in, no one out. Please come back later. Uh, but, but uh, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, journalist, eh? Have you got your press pass? No, I uh, left it at the office. Well then, you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Au Courant. See if she's got a spare press pass. Lovely day for it. Right on. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. My old office. That was fun, being a reporter. My receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. How am I supposed to get upstairs then? That's all. Come back with the coffee. We just have to pray she will. A lady can't go without coffee these days. It's unthinkable. If someone would just have a bloody wedding, then I could get a cup of coffee. I've a sneaking suspicion that they want some coffee. Lovely day for it. Pardon me, pardon me. Do you, do you think someone could let me upstairs? Unless it's the second coming, I can't be bothered. Pardon me, pardon me. Do you, do you think someone could let me upstairs? If you don't stop pestering me, I'll murder someone. I swear I will. All right. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. Pardon me. Pardon me. Do you, do you think someone could let me upstairs? How rude. Can't you see I'm working? Uh, excuse me. The, the door upstairs is locked. Just like my sisters. Always pester, pester, pester. Uh, excuse me, the, the door upstairs is locked. Not now, I'm running just to keep up. Hey, that's not your house. Stop me! You're selfish! Let's see if I can get Mrs. Oliphant to give me my old job back and my old press pass.
Hastings. The whole place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. That were all true, Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, I'm um, not sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my own job back. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, right as rain. from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. <laughs> I'm just staying to read the meter. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. By all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! Gordo, turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Ow! What the hell? Who the fuck are you? But I live here. Love what you've done with the place. Entirely too good.
Shamba, I would never have pictured it. I'm not sure I actually want to, come to think of it. Days. No, I will not keep my voice down. I am a law abiding citizen. much about what should we just take everything I don't think dr. V would like that the constabulary might notice I don't see anything talking about dr. V here Where's her study? I thought vampires had to be invited in. Down up! That ought to buy me some time. Open up in there! Who are you then? Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? He needs our help. It's not healthy being out after I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet.
guess I'd better go see what's going on on this motilene regulation unit. Maybe the answer's there. Bam, stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. What should I do with my apron? Asked Little Red Riding Hood. So it is a fire. You won't need it anymore. So Little Red Riding Hood threw her apron in the fire. smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. work site and you're not a municipal worker are you huh? so clear off lovely day for it i got a new compliment machine it's so clever We're the same size.
Und über Zerwinnheit. Nein? 